Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and believe it or not, but I am an introvert and believe it or not again, but today I went to the hairdresser. Yeah, I went to the hairdresser and he was an extrovert. This is my story. Now, I would like to consider myself to be a fairly outgoing introvert. I can be talkative, I can be friendly, I can be social, I can be polite. You know, I've mastered all these skills. I'm almost a normal functioning human at this point. However, what I'm not, what I'm not very good at is quick paced people that don't let you talk. So what ended up happening today was I went to a hairdresser. I thought it was time, you know, my viewers were starting to complain. There were people every day messaging me, telling me I needed to get a haircut. And I was like, okay, okay, sure. I hear you. I believe you. <laughs> Fine. You win. So I thought, okay, I'll go to a hairdresser and you know, I just moved cities. So I thought, okay, I need to find a new place. Yeah. Okay. This place looks fine. Yeah. I'll go there. I'll try it. It has decent reviews. You know, I should not have gone there. So it started out nice. I came in, he was very welcoming, very social. Immediately he came there with this radiant energy. He was like, hey man, come sit, have a, have a drink, can I get you something? Would you like a coffee? And I was like, yeah, sure, thanks. Um, sounds good. And um, I went to sit down and I got my coffee. And um, well, actually I didn't get my coffee. I think he forgot to make it. But he asked and he offered and that was the import most important thing, you know, right? That people ask, that people offer. Then about 10 minutes later, he was done cutting his other client and uh, it was my turn. So I went to take a seat and uh, I asked him, okay, can you make sure not to put the, this uh, collar around my neck too tight? Because I always find it to be too tight. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this. Uh, but I find it to be too tight. I always feel like uh, I'm joking when I when I have those things on me. Um, so yeah, he immediately he just puts the thing around like uh, half. He doesn't even put it on. He doesn't even strap it tight. I'm like, I mean, you can put it on a little bit, but I don't want you to like choke me with it. And he's like, okay, okay, I get you, I get you. Now. Um, so far so good so far so good this is okay i can do this i can handle this 20 minutes of social interaction for one day that should be okay i should be able to handle that right uh well the next question the next logical question where when you're at the hairdresser is so what would you like me to do and i'm like yeah i like it to have it a bit short on the side not completely you know like uh with the machine but not that much and he looks at me like with a confused expression, 0 0.5, like, uh, yes, uh, I, and I don't even have time to say anything, you know, he, he's like 0 0.5 and he immediately goes like, uh, all over my neck and I'm like, oh my God, it's gone. It's gone. My hair, it's gone. I'm bald. <laughs> he made me bald. He, he took my hair and I couldn't even say anything. I didn't even have a chance. He just took the machine. And I was like 0 0.5 and he was like swoop and I was like I couldn't even have I, I couldn't even say anything I couldn't even resist I couldn't even agree I couldn't even disagree there there was no time he was so fast he was so fast uh, and um, yeah I, I'm, a, I'm a constructive person I'm a positive person you know so I'm like okay he, we can save this this can be okay this can be fine you know uh, I will um, just uh, say, okay, take it a little bit in the back because a lot of hairdressers, they actually miss this. Like I actually have like antennas that stick up from the back. You know, I don't, uh, a lot of INFJs actually have this. A lot of INFJs have antennas that strike up from the back of their hair. And this is just a normal thing. Like this is how we communicate with uh, our alien overlords in outer space. Uh, however, like I don't need that much like, I don't want that to be like there in the public for everyone to see. So I like to keep that antenna a bit hidden. The signal is pretty good. You know, I, I can get whatever I need to know. I can get all my news and all the galactic space information anyways. You know, most people have the internet today, so it's all good. I don't need it. I don't need people to see this big antenna strike up in the middle of like wherever I go. Like people don't need to see 
that I'm an alien. Like that's that's logical, right? So yeah, I'm like cut it off. Try to get it as smooth as possible because a lot of hairdressers they forget this, and suddenly like a week after I've been to the hairdresser, it's back up. Like swoon, <laughs> it's back. Like I have like Harry Potter hair, you know. Like you can comb it, but it's immediately messy. It's not. There is nothing I can do about it. But so I'm like, just cut it, <laughs> so I don't have to deal with it. That's the best thing I can do. Either I have to deal with messy, annoying hair, or I can just cut it away. So I I make the easy choice. I make the simple choice. Um, he does this, and this is fine. And I'm like, this is fine. This is okay. And he starts cutting. I'm like, yeah. Take about half of it. He takes two thirds. Like he takes immediately. He takes everything. Like I think this guy he hates hair. He literally he just wants all hair gone. He he's a hairdresser for a reason. He has a purpose. His purpose is to exterminate all hair. And you know, no big surprise when he was done. He was like, "Can I do the beard as well?" And I'm like, "Actually, I don't really like to let anybody do the beard." But I'm like, okay, I'll try it. People do this, right? Uh, and he's like, yeah, I can take it. Oh, I, I, let's just, I, I'm like, yeah, you can just trim it a bit. Like, I don't need it to be completely gone. And he's like, I understand. I get you. I get you. And he's like, 0 0.5. <laughs> and he swoops in. 0 0.5. Uh, he just swoops in and he's, it's like gone in a second. Like, I'm like, wow, there he goes. Uh, and now, you know, like, my, I have a simple choice. I can say stop. But half my hair is already gone, you know, and you know, I'm afraid, you know, I, I don't like um, speaking up, you know, um, if I order food and I get the wrong order, you can be sure that I'm going to finish whatever they gave me and I'm going to pretend it was all good. You know, I'm not going to send it back. I'm like, I don't want to waste the food, you know. And I'm sure they, I must have said it wrong. They must have misunderstood something, you know. I just eat it, you know. And the same goes here. Okay, they're, they're swooping down my hair. And he's like, um, uh, yeah, he got to the point where he swooped away all my hair. And it was all gone. And there was nothing I can do. And the resistance was futile. And it was all done in less than five minutes. It's the fastest haircut I've ever gone, gotten. I, usually, I feel like I'm used to people that are like slowly like... You know, and then with awkward small talk, so like, so how's the weather in Sweden? Um, have you seen any nice movies lately? Have you been anywhere recently? <laughs> you know, we, that's what I'm used to with a hairdresser. I'm not used to people that go like, oh, 0 0.5, and then take everything. I'm not used to this. This is not this is not normal to me. I, 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 I prepare in advance for most situations. I script most situations. I think ahead, and I plan it, and I, ex I expect something, and I assume something will happen, and I go in with a plan. But I could never have planned for this. I could never have scripted this. This is beyond anything I could have ever realized, you know. Now, we introverts, we have a weapon, you know, it's called Google reviews, you know. If we're unhappy, nowadays, we don't have to tell it to people like normal people. We don't have to go to another person and be like, hi, I didn't like that, you know. We Instead, we can do the normal healthy thing, which is just sneak away, smile and pay, and then go on Google reviews and then absolutely demolish them. You know, that's the normal thing to do, right? But I couldn't. I absolutely couldn't. And you know why? Because for the whole reason, for the whole time of that haircut, he couldn't stop going on about how many bad reviews he got and how sad he was over all the bad reviews he's getting. He's like, I'm a nice guy, I'm a good hairdresser, but people keep coming, they misunderstand me, they don't get me, they don't say what they want, and they they keep giving me bad reviews, and it's like not fair, you know, man. And I'm like, yeah, I, I understand, I understand. Yeah, it must be hard, you know, to be an entrepreneur, and you know, when people keep giving you bad reviews on Google Maps, yeah, I get it, I understand, yeah. <laughs> Uh, actually like I ended up coaching him I was like well if people give you bad feedback you have to show that you're open minded maybe you could uh, write a response something like yeah I'm sorry that you had this experience and you're always welcome back if you want me to cut your hair again and I can always uh, help you get the haircut that you need you know uh, 
I was coaching him. I was helping him. Um, and you know what the worst part? When I came to pay, uh, he was like cash only. I'm like, okay, well, uh, I have 30 euros and it was 22 euros. And uh, he's like, okay, eight euro tip, thank you. <laughs> and that's how I lost 30 euros. <laughs>